Alright guys, it's 6.46 a.m. I'm gonna start getting ready at about like 7, 7 a.m. Alright guys, it's a 7-Eleven a.m. Just brushed my teeth. I'm gonna do my hair and put a little bit of makeup on. I typically don't wear a lot of makeup to work, so I want to show you guys just like my everyday go-to routine. My first day back in the office to work. This is crazy. I have not been in the office in months. I use this Hot Tools curling iron. I don't use the clamp though. I'm not good at using the clamp, so I literally just wrap it around and I only do the ends just for a few seconds because this thing is hot. I feel so much more awake now just after sitting in bed having my coffee i've literally just been thinking i have no idea how the heck i'm gonna wake up for work anymore after i've been working from home so today i'm not anticipating there to be traffic i've been watching my gps just to you know be sure because obviously it'll predict the time for you um and it doesn't say that there's any traffic i need to be there at nine but i want to leave by eight just because i have no idea what to expect when i get there i don't know what the elevator system is gonna be like um my assumption is that they have to regulate it so that can obviously take a while good enough I'm really not worried about, you know, like the whole social distance thing or anything like that just because a lot of people will not be in the office. We sent out like a blast email poll and everyone took a poll, you know, like if they were likely to return to the office right away. A lot of people responded no. it's gonna get it's a little greasy my hair's just gross right now so i'm gonna do my makeup next i just put on face moisturizer i really don't use primer i just use like my face moisturizer you can see that yeah so keep it super simple low maintenance that's my favorite thing and i still don't know what i'm wearing i've been trying to think about that i usually try to think about that as i get ready I'm gonna go in, I just have this Estee Lauder double wear concealer there. Estee Lauder double wear concealer. I typically don't do this. Well, if I'm going to work, I will. And it's the first day back in the office, so I'm gonna. I really Ooh, I have the hiccups. I really like this concealer because it's super light. It's very lightweight. It's not heavy. It doesn't feel like it's clogging my pores or anything, which I hate. After I do that, I'm literally just going to go in with my bronzer and kind of like contour my cheeks. I'm not a big, big makeup person, so this might be hard to watch for you makeup people and literally my bronzer is in pieces right now literally in pieces because Ulta hasn't been open in months but I guess that's not an excuse because I could technically just order online but whatever make sure you blend under that neck you don't want lines or anything like that. I always go down my neck. Always, always, always. I'm just gonna go back in with my foundation brush and kind of blend out 
those edges just blend 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 for a little bit more of a contour effect I like to take my Anastasia glow kit with this little like angled fan brush and I go over the two darkest colors here I use both of them just kind of mix them mix them together shake out the brush and really get that angle to get that contour a little more I love this thing I've had this palette for like years now that's crazy but I love it and I'll even do my nose with it too just go back over those dark colors shake it out and get like the edge of your nose to get that contour and then again just to blend that out a little I very very lightly like I'm not putting any pressure on this brush just like blend it blend it blend it okay after I do that if I want to have like a little natural eyeshadow I will literally use the same glow kit and I'll take either the summer or this moonstone color here that's summer that's moonstone I'll mix those and add a little bit of this like purpley color to it and do my eyeshadow with it so I literally just go over the base of my eye with that and it looks really pretty it just gives you like a natural glowy look on your eyelids it looks really nice so this highlighter my mom actually gave me this is amazing if you like sparkly shimmery anything um i need to get a new one because it's again like my bronzer it's in crumbs so i just take this on the top corners of my cheekbones on top of my you know eyebrow bone and just highlight those points i'll get the tip of my nose after that, I will take my 24 hour brow setter. This is by Benefit. Yeah, there we go. This is literally just a clear eyebrow gel. So it holds your eyebrows in place literally all day. They will not go anywhere. I really get in there with this eyebrow gel. I love this stuff. Love it. Get some of it. And it's a really good, if you do fill in your eyebrows, um, it's really good to set your eyebrows with. Sometimes I'll fill in my eyebrows, but really day to day, I don't. And then last but not least, mascara always last. And then actually, I like to set my face first before I do my mascara because if you do your mascara and then shut your eyes and set it, it can smudge and I don't have time for that. So that is my everyday hair makeup routine first day back in the office and i'm about to go pick out my outfit i'll actually probably let my face dry first because i just said it and then i'm gonna go get dressed and then do my mascara all right guys i'm gonna pick out my outfit now i have no clue what i'm gonna wear i'm gonna check the weather actually because i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be hot yeah like 90 degrees what and it's 7:33, so I kind of need to hurry up. All right, guys. I think this is what I'm gonna wear. I just have a bodysuit on and this little gray skirt. It's pretty cute. It is now 7:40, so I have about 20 minutes. I'm going to put my mascara on probably just wearing flats today because I'm pretty sure they have us doing just a bunch of like tidy cleanup work in the office um, and then I'm gonna go make a smoothie and we'll be on the way okay I'm running behind it is now 746 okay we're good I'm just packing my bag and then I'm gonna make my smoothie, I swear. <laughs>
four home runs in Legend like, this Wooden. I love this one. They, um, and recorded in history. So it, uh, there was a prediction for a lot of hurricanes, um, main storms this year, and that is absolutely three things in human life are important. The first is to be kind. The second is to be kind. And the third, oh, good message out there, be kind. Be kind to each other. Be kind to your family. Be All right, so now that my mom is done with her morning announcements, I'm making my smoothie and leaving. Just put some flax seed in there. And the fruit mix I use is mango, strawberry, there's some pineapple in there, and peaches. Guys, this is so exciting. I'm like actually excited to go into the office because it's been months. This is wild. <sighs> All right, awesome. There's no traffic. Lit. All right, I officially made it. This is so weird. It's just like empty. There's no one walking. There's no one driving on the road. I just don't even know what's going on. This is wild. I wish it took me 30 minutes to get to work every single day. All right, I'm in the parking garage. Wow. Oh my God, it's empty. Holy crap. Guys, it's literally empty. My boss isn't even here yet. This is nuts. I'm just gonna park right here. I'm gonna try to back in. Oh my lord, have mercy. Thank God there's no one here right now because I suck at backing in parking spots. I literally don't even use my mirrors. I just use my backup camera and I know that sounds terrible, but like it's true. Wish me luck. And we're on our way home, y'all. First day back in the office. Success. It is 2.32 and I'm on the road. This is awesome. I wish I could be done with work every single day at this time. All right guys, well, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. If you enjoy my content, I'm really trying to keep up struggling with, you know, juggling work and like trying to stay creative and active, but subscribe to my channel, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it first day back to work post quarantine let's go i feel like you know this is a good thing like we need to get back to work we need to feel productive and good about ourselves like it felt good to put an outfit on and do my hair and do my makeup and like be around people even if i was just organizing a closet all day because that's what I was doing. But anyways, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, tell me how your guys is, you know, post quarantine life is going. I would love to hear, I would love to know how it's going for everyone. Hopefully this is the start of good things. Thanks for tuning in guys. 
subscribe, like this, comment below. I appreciate it all.